we are now going to solve uniform motion problems. So let's read through this and identify why this is a uniform motion problem. Aya rode her bicycle from her house to a friend's house, averaging 16 kilometers per hour. It turned dark before she was ready to return home, so her friend drove her home at a rate of 80 kilometers per hour. If Aya's total traveling time was three hours, how far away did her friend live? So we know that this is a uniform motion problem because it talks about a speed, kilometers per hour. It talks about a time. And it talks about a distance, how far away. So we have an R, we have T, and we have D. And so what we need to deal with with this problem as well is to look at the basics. And I like to draw a picture. So suppose this is Aya's house, and this is her friend's house. So going this way, we know that we went at a speed of 16 kilometers per hour. And going this way, we know that we went at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. We also know that the distance between these is fixed at D. We, we know that the total time, we don't know the individual time, but we know that the total time for this is three hours. So, I also like to make a table. We've got a bike, our bicycle, and we have a car. We have an R, we have a T, and we have a D. So, we know that we have 16 kilometers per hour, 80 kilometers per hour. We have a D and a D, and we have two unknown T's. T1 and T2. What we know is that T1 plus T2 is equal to 3. The total t traveling time is 3 hours. Well, T1, if we, if we take this equation, we get 16 times T1 equals D. So T1 is D over 16. From our second equation, we know that 80 times T2 equals D. Or we know that T2 equals D over 80. So my model is T1 plus T2 equals 3, and R times T equals D. So we get D over 16 plus D over 80 equals 3. Well, 16 times 5 is 80, so our lowest common denominator is 80. So we'll rewrite this to be 5 over 5. Actually, all we have to do is multiply everything since this is an equation. Let's just multiply everything by 80. So 80 divided by 16 is 5, 80 divided by 80 is 1, and 3 times 80 is 240. So 60 equals 240, or D equals 40 kilometers. So it appears that our friend lives 40 kilometers away. In order to check this answer, though, and that seems to make some sense, let's double check. 16 times t1 equals 40, so 40 over 16 is our time 1, and 40 over 80 is our time 2. So we'll get out a calculator, and we're going to add these together. 40 divided by 16 plus 40 divided by 80 is 3, so the time spent is 3 total hours. We spent a half an hour here, and we spent 2 and a half hours here for a total of 3. So our answers work out, and we used our uniform motion problem to solve this, e this problem.